My name's Sean West, trained at MMAG, Midwest Martial Arts Group. Do a little bit of kickboxing, a little bit of jiu-jitsu, a little bit of everything. Um, I'm Zach Mills. I train at Team Hard Drive in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. This is by far the greatest, most intensest, toughest practices I've ever had. That's why I stay here. Pat King got me into it and um, took me to the gym one day and I did some sparring. I had a pretty good sparring session with him and Gary's like, hey, what's your name? You know, why don't you come back? You know, and he told me then, he's like, you're gonna be a you can you can do a lot of a lot of good in this sport. So I made sure I came back and uh, you know, I did my thing for quite some time and now I'm a seasoned fighter. My team helped me get ready for this, but when the music shuts off and the cage door locks, I don't get to take my teammates with me. You don't get to take your teammates with you. It's on you and your shoulders only. So um, when you get that W, it's it's extremely pure and it's the greatest feeling I've ever had in my entire life. It comes from a real good camp. I have nothing but respect to, to Keone and, and all those hard drive guys up there. But, um, you know, I, I don't know about too much what he's going to do to me. All right. I know what I'm going to do to him. I know what I do when I stand up, and I know what I do to people in the gym, and I know what I can do to people when I have that that uh, that drive and for this fight, and uh, I have that drive and that hunger. He's gonna punch me in the mouth, and I'm gonna smile at him, and I'm gonna punch him in the mouth. And uh, you know, for two minutes, I'm gonna come in there and let those hands go, and uh, it, just let the magic happen, man. Oh, I, I love it, man. You know what I mean? Anytime I get the opportunity to stand up in the cage and. and you know, punch somebody in the face, you know, that's that's what it is, that's what the sport's built on. It always means something, man. It's always a test against yourself, a test to improve not only as a fighter, but as being a better person. That's what MMA is all about. It's not just about fighting and, and beating people up. It's about um, becoming a better person. Tonight in our kickboxing exhibition, Zach Bad Company Mills with a record of one and one, representing Hard Drive MMA in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. If you have been listening to us do this for the past few years, you know that I'm going to comment on the song. I know. What does it mean to come out to Bye Bye Bye? What, what, what could that possibly mean? Is he saying his opponent's going to go Bye Bye Bye? Oh, absolutely. Or he's so tough that, you know, he could come out to a boy band? All the above. I mean, this is the show. Coming out to heavy metal or hardcore rap, which I mean, I've done both. You're just having a good time. You're here to fight, uh, you know, an, an exhibition fight. Also, it's not one for the record book. Um, you know, you're just here to fight, have a good time, and this this, this song couldn't say any more than that. Of course, and I'm, you know what? I'm not ashamed. I know every word of this song too. I'm singing right along with them. It's kind of getting me excited a little bit, a little bit. Not excited enough to jump in the cage myself, but hey. He's singing along I, I too. Like, like that, that's that awesome. I was just about to say that. I, I literally looked up and watched him singing along to this. Yeah, and yeah. you know, his opponent might be making fun of him right now, and I guarantee he's gonna, he's gonna take a shot in the face if you think your opponent's still not here to fight, no matter what he comes out to fight to. Of course. Sean the Exception West, representing MMAG and Team Lalo out of Davenport, Iowa. What should we look for in a, in a kickboxing match as opposed to a regular MMA match? You know, really, I mean, in a kickboxing match, you take away the ground game. So it's, it's pretty much uh, everything you see still. Um, the gloves and, and shin guards are there, but all the moves are the same. Spinning backhands, uh, you know. Most of the time in a kickboxing match, elbows are taken out, uh, depending on where you're at. Um, but, you know, it is very similar to, to a, a stand-up war. I mean, like I said, anybody that's sparred knows that, you know, glove on, gloves on or gloves off, you get hit in the head, it hurts. You get kicked in the head, the shin guards, you can't even feel them sometimes. And this is the type of, you know, this is the type of match that is exciting for the fans because 
the best, one of the best parts, I guess, is the stand-up part of MMA. If you take out the, you know, all the stuff that goes on on the ground, you just have the kickboxing. So this should be really exciting for everybody tonight. Exactly. To when you, you know, you glance over the card. We'll show respect for both fighters, and here we go, round one. Big kicks already. That's what we're talking about. Big shots from West. Let's reset to and uh, back to the feet. Oh, big shot by West. Yeah, West throwing some big shots already. Body shots from West right there. So he said, even though he's tied up, he was still landing body shots. Yeah. And Zach Mills really put his head down, really trying to deliver the knockout blow. And Mills trying to work the switch kick a little bit. West really looking to hunt him down. This is what this gives a good chance for people to see really what goes on when uh, you're sparring in the gym too. Um, a big, huge oh, knee. From Sean West, to Zach Mills. Flying knee. Flying knee, huge. Where's his cape? Don't you have to have a cape to fly like I that? Mean, we've got the red shorts, but it's on the, it's on the other guy yeah, that took the shot. Yeah. So maybe we should switch shorts. Keep going. It's gonna keep going. I left my cape at home. I might let him borrow it. West oh, delivers another, another huge knee. knee. Mills oh, right back, back up. Back. Oh. I have a feeling he's going to look for another one. Just a high a kick right there. Kick. A la Anderson Silva. We've seen that a lot in the last year. Mills really needs to work something and get, get a big shot in and right. kind of even the playing field. Mills doing a good job of, you know, trying to regain his composure. Big body shot by uh, West. Landed some West. big kicks too, and really looking right here to hunt him down. Wants to get back in the middle of the cage. Big drops him right in the sternum, right in the sternum. Right, that's right the sternum. and you know and right what that is that button, that button right there yep. in the middle of your stomach. Yep. That's all your win. Yeah, it just hits it perfectly. What might most likely happen was he hit him with his toe. Yep. Big toe to the sternum, drops you every time. A lot of respect for Mills to keep going though right here. Yeah, because you know he still hasn't been able to shake that off. No. Big, Big shot. Shane John West. And that's gonna Big be it. That's gonna be it. Yeah, clear domination by West. Very right there. impressed by Sean West tonight as he gets the knockout win over Zach Mills. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was impressive. That was very impressive. 
two big flying knees, you know, big shot to the stomach. Huge, yeah, definitely a good show of sportsmanship right yeah. there. Like, hey, you know, I just kicked you in the stomach, you know. Just need you in the head, but I love you. Uh, I'm going to say is now I can't wait to see Sean West fight again. Exactly. Without those shin guards. Yeah, yeah. With the four-ounce gloves. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's going to even things out, but, I mean, we already know that he's pretty deadly with his stand-up right now. now.